Start with Jeff Patrickus. Hey, Eric, I'm, I'm just curious, were you able to get any feedback or talk to teams before today? And if you have, what kind of feedback have you gotten? And, and what are your hopes for the draft later this year? Um, I have talked to plenty of teams uh, throughout um, before this pro day, before today, prior to that. Um, and they were just saying they're excited to see me um, just really going out there and moving around. I, I think position drills was very important for me just to let them know like I, I uh, leaned up a lot more. I feel a lot better, cleaner and stuff like that. And obviously the combine, the pro days and stuff. And uh, so they really want to see that. But I think the position drills was the most important key for me. Um, so I, I overall, I think I did well. Um, so uh, that was good news. Go to Jesse, Jesse Temple. Eric, I wanted to ask you about Rashad and, and his day. Um, he had a 4 4 one um, And I know he left, you know, midseason from, from what you saw today, what stood out. And just being in the defensive backfield with him, what do you think he can provide to an NFL team? Yeah, honestly, man, I'm, I'm proud of him, man. Not a lot of people can do that. You know what I mean? I mean he played two and a half years. That's rare to do, um, but uh, that's that's what you call trusting in yourself and believing in your ability. And he went out there and did his thing. I mean, w which I expected him to do, honestly. We, we've been talking a lot throughout this process, and I'm, I'm very excited uh, to, with, to hold it in the future, but they're, they're going to get a hard work and do, man. And it, it's it's rare to find a guy like Rashad Wild Goose to come out there and uh, do the things that he did. So I'm, I'm as a big bro, I'm very proud of him. That was my recruit actually coming here. And, so it was a proud moment for me, and I'm, I'm happy I went out there and uh, with the position drill. Obviously, you know what I mean, just working working out with him and looking at the results of when we started in January to now. I think it was a very exciting moment for both of us, and now we're heading into ch chasing our dreams in, in April. Hopefully our dreams come true, and, I, and we're very excited for that. Nicole? Eric, you said you were happy with your numbers today. Now you've got about six weeks before the draft. What are some of the things that you're focused on continuing to improve in that time? Um, honestly, man, just staying in shape. Now in the combine, all that stuff is over. Um, it's over my head. and It took a lot of weight off my shoulders. And now I just focus on myself, focus on my position. Honestly, just staying on top of my shape, uh, make sure I, I do all the things that I need to do, keep my body maintained. Um, so I'm very excited what this future has to hold for me. And I, I think it's, it's very important for me just to stay in shape and do all the position stuff that I can do and uh, just reach out and get some knowledge. I've met some guys and the NFL vets and um, hopefully in the future before the draft comes, I'm going to fly out there and have some workouts with them, just learn everything, uh, soaking everything in and hopefully um, it will excel when, when my time comes. Josh Schaefer. Yeah, Eric, a two-parter now. I, I guess, who'd you meet and kind of, were you able to learn anything from them yet? And then I also wanted you to maybe Say just- that again. What's the first question? Uh, who, who, you said you met some NFL vets and maybe learned a couple of things from them. I was curious just who you, who you got to talk to. And then could you take us through what went well you thought in the position drills? I know you said that that was a big thing for you. Just kind of what had you been working on there and what worked? Um, yeah, uh, just- uh, Chris Marigos, I think uh, that's an important guy that uh, I'm going to uh, meet throughout this process. And obviously just learning from Jim Leonard uh, when I'm working down in Fort Lauderdale, I met some a lot of NFL vets in there. I'm not going to disclose names, but uh, I met a lot in there and they, they definitely taught me the things that uh, would definitely help me out you know, leading up to this uh, day right here and to your second part. I was just Honestly, just moving my hips, uh, open up all my hips and mobility and just figuring that stuff out. And also just getting out of in and out of breaks and catching the rock. I think that's the most important part. Um, but honestly, I think I just overall did, did things that I needed to do. And I've been working uh, from January only until now. And I'm glad I went out there and actually took care of the business. George Belecci. <laughs> Sorry about that, Eric. Um, 
with today for you having the pro day workout, but not getting invited to the NFL combine, of course, there's a big point of emphasis, big priority in what you put in today. Was that heightened with this was your only shot to have that one audition in front of all 32 NFL teams at once? Um, honestly, man, uh, I think it was, I mean, it is what it is, honestly. Uh, I was hoping to get that. Um, but at the end of the day, I just got to control what I can control. Um, so I went out there. I'm glad I uh, performed the way I did. And I'm excited for the future, honestly. Uh, combine invite, no combine, regardless of the situation. I uh, I just look at myself. I always like to be 10 toes down. That's the phrase that I like to use. Uh, just continue to keep putting my head down. Honestly, that's why my clothing line came out, Elevate Beyond. Just regardless of the situation that's thrown at you, you just got to continue to elevate yourself and go beyond in every, everything that you do on the field, off the field just soaking up everything that you possibly can and just whatever comes your way, you just gotta, just, you gotta go. You gotta go in regards to the situation. Rick Saratella. <laughs> hey, Eric, congratulations on today. Uh, Two-parter for you, uh, Rick Saratella, NFL Draft Bible here. Uh, curious to know who is your agent and where were you training leading up to your pro day? Um, my agent is Pat Capra. Uh, it's with Malka Sports, M-A-L-K-A. -A. It's based out of New Jersey. And then I was training in XPE uh, down in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And then uh, second question, you know, you, you mentioned you were working with or talking to Chris Maragos. Uh, obviously, he made a living on special teams, something I think, you know, you can kind of carve a niche at at the next level ha, has that been a, a heavy topic of conversation with NFL teams and you know how do you think your previous experience will translate to the next level thank yeah, you absolutely I like to excel in everything that I do in such teams uh high school I started off in special teams college I started off and that's how you work your way up and honestly I like to excel in anything that I do when I go on that field and listen to uh talking to Chris Marigos and uh, Dakota Dixon, all those guys, man. I'm just, I'm happy that I put myself in this position and regardless of the situation, I'm gonna go out there and do the best that I can. But I did learn a lot. Uh, special team was a heavy talk for us. And that's how you learn, you know what I mean? A guy that, you, a, a safety that doesn't do special teams and then a safety that does do special team, they're taking the guys that do the special teams. And I, I'm very, I'm excited for that because I, I, I I pride myself in special teams, which is very good. A lot of, a few don't. So um, I'm excited for that. We've got time for a couple more. A couple more. We'll go back to Jeff. Yeah, Eric, I think at the start, you said you wanted to get a little bit leaner, quicker. Shows, did you drop much weight at all? Or can you share how much you had to trim off? I did not, honestly, uh, which is good. Uh, I think it's very important for your diet. <laughs> it was very hard for me to do that at this university, especially with State Street. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just just being on a strict diet and stuff, man, it definitely, I can feel a lot cleaner. I'm moving, I feel a lot healthier, everything, the whole nine, my body looks a lot more clean, uh, cut up and all that stuff. So I'm very excited for that. And I'm just ready to keep moving forward and just being the best person that I can be. All right, we'll wrap things up for EB with one from Steve McGurk. You had talked about getting advice from other pros and stuff like that. I was just wondering, what's the best piece of advice you received from any of them? If there was any single thing that stood out heading into this? I'm just honestly just learning everything. Don't feel like you go in there and it's like, oh, I know everything. Like what you don't know is what you don't know. So I think uh, soaking in that, I always had an open minded. I can always learn from the best. Like JT is one of my closest friends. I even talked to him. I'm like, how'd you feel? Like what it is? Like how'd you get started? How'd you get going? Like what was some some uh, lumps that you had down the road and all that stuff. So I, I learned from anybody, anybody in the league that I really want to get there because they've been there. You know what I mean? And they started there. And, I think that's very important. Just go in there with like an open minded and just learn from everybody. All right, EB, thanks for your time. Congrats on your performance today. Thank Let's you. Thank you. Elevate Beyond. Thank you. <laughs>